Well, with three games to go, there's still all to play for. But the biggest problem of all is, we've got a player mutiny on our hands. And it's led by... Boy Harv. Yes, Harvey Greenslade. Son, what are you doing to me? He has got 10 people agreeing with him. Virtually all the first team squad feel that there's lack of significant depth at centre half. OK, we've gone out and signed two central defenders. Both on free transfers, but they were contracted to other clubs. Yes, Duncan Wright. He comes in as a four and a half star potential central defender, 21 years old, two and a half star current. Fair enough. Lots of potential. Looks fairly good. He's a centre half. He's a no nonsense centre half. Same as this lad. Three and a half star this time. Two star current ability. Only six foot tall this one, but another Scottish lad. And they're both just freebie centre halves that we needed. We've not spent any money on them. And, um,. It's made no difference. But as it stands at the moment, we've got that little carrot being dangled in front of us. Yeah, with three games to go, yeah, we've lost the last two. We've been on a fairly-ish run. Lots of draws. Yeah, not the greatest, but we have that carrot. We are six points off the playoffs. Three games to go. Obviously, you don't need to be a mathematician to work out that that's nine points. So today, we're off to play Bromley. Now, if we can win these last three games of the season, I think that we will be in the playoffs. It's whether this player mutiny is going to cause an issue or not. That is the problem. Team today, Kovacic back in goal. Yes, we've... Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a nightmare, I tell you. Petri, Marshall, Boone, Mahaldo. He's back. Yeah, he's back from injury. Harris, Rose, Bowen... Tideman, Greenslade, Cargbo. Yes, we've also got Francois, who's now unhappy because he's not playing regular football. Ugh, it's just a nightmare. Right, let's go and get our first lot of three points, shall we? Second tired of the bad results. We've had two losses. Pump the fists, get it going. They are inspired, they are motivated. Silverbow is here. Yeah, apparently Silverbow is the place that Truro should have moved into. Uh, don't think that's going to happen somehow. So we're, this was built for the club. But with the club having brand new owners in real life, that just makes things all more interesting in-game. Harvey Greenslade has now stubbed his toe. Uh, thinks he should be able to play through it. Harv, you're running the mutiny, son. If you leave the pitch, they'll probably all go with you. So I'm not having any of that rubbish today, thank you very much. Quick shout of encourage. Kovacevic to Boone. Now we've got three quality centre halves. I don't know what they're going on about. We just signed a load more. I don't get it. Rose running through midfield into Greenslade. He finds Bowen. Bowen gets it to Harris out on that left hand side. Rose, lovely football. Greenslade. Harv. Oh, come on, son. Petri into Rose. Rose now. He's trying to do it all himself. Mahaldo in. Cargbo. He's at the post now. I, I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> those were going in. Now they're not. Same post. Same bottom of the post, I think, actually, as well. Ball's in this time. Cut. You are having a laugh. If we hit the woodwork again, that's three times we hit the woodwork. Let's go positive and see if that makes any difference. Oh my goodness me, Brom Bromley, who are sixth in the league, we are um, doing a job on, shall we say. Absolutely unacceptable. 
they're fired up, they're raring to go, and um, hopefully it means that they will actually score a goal. Because that has been a rather weird half. Harris now over the free kick. Bowen. Oh, I thought he carried it over the line. He said he made it look easy. It, w it was a bit easy then. Right, ball's coming forward. Petri, Tideman trying to get there. Can't quite get there. Come on, don't, surely they're not going to score now. After all of what we've just done, they've now hit the bar and it's gone over. Goodness me. Right, oh, it's going to do some subs. Mahaldo, Tideman to Rose, Petri, Mahaldo again into Bowen. Lovely football, Cargbo. Cargbo finds Harris out on that left-hand side. He's coming forward, finds Rose. Go on, hit one, son. Oh. Three changes made. Duncan Wright comes on for his... It's not his debut, but for you. Gregory and Francois on as well. We're going to give him another shout of an encourage. Come on, boys. Just one will do. Bowen, go short. Mahaldo, back in. Oh, I thought it was going to be one of those fancy ones. They've got a man who is injured running at us. Just give him a kick. I feel sick. I feel ill. He's he's injured. Look, he's not even he's not even interested down here. A shout of beration. That is not acceptable. And they're struggling with it. We're gonna lose the dressing room here, aren't we? Bowen. In. Come on. It's down. Tideman. Mahaldo. He I, We've hit the post again. We've hit the woodwork again. And it's only saying three. We've definitely hit the woodwork four times. A shout of fire up. Nine minutes of added on time. A draw I don't think will be enough. I think this will be the final nail in the coffin. Boom to Gregory. Gregory, Tideman, Bowen, in, Greenslade. Oh, what are you doing to me? 16 shots we've had. And they're going to score again, aren't they? They're going to score. Oh, it's going to be a pen. It's going to be football managers. Just, it's got that carrot. It's just there, just dangling at me. And I'm just thinking, yeah, OK, we've got this. We've got this. Francois wins the ball back, though. Gives it to Greenslade. Greenslade. 30 seconds of normal time left. Or of, of, all, of any time Greenslade, Petri, Gregory, Mahaldo. It's just nothing. Harris gets it in again. Greenslade finally, finally scored. The crowd are going wild. They're cheering his name. Oh my goodness me. What a way to do it. Surely, in the last minute of the game, we pull off a draw in a game that we've dominated. Yeah, I totally agree, Bob. It's just absolutely frustrating. Greenslade, man of the match. Eight out of ten. I'm disappointed we didn't win. Marley Rose, can I... Oh, no, no. Oh, Marley, can I... Individuals, I just want to speak to you and just say I'm happy with your performance. And some are angled. Oh, let's get out of here and go and try and get some more points and see what happens. Well, Harve is out for six to 11 days with that stub toe. Greenslade picks up man of the match. But Altrincham, oh, goodness me, they're champions. They've smashed the league. The worst part of this news at all is, with that draw, our hopes are dashed. So what we'll do, we'll just play the last two games. Bet you, I guarantee we'll win these last two games and we'll miss out by a point or something crazy. Oh, so frustrating. Harv, it's all this. It's all this. And everyone is saying I'm failed because of... I've brought in players. Oh. Well, we've had our youth intake and we've signed the players as well but uh 
Lewis Minton, a 5 or 10, 15 year old goalkeeper who's got area reach of five. So he's good. Uh, Scott Lowe, a central midfielder with jumping reach of two and heading of two. Uh, determination of two as well. So another one, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Danny Edwards, probably the pick of the bunch, but it's a three star. That is it. Now, dynamics, a level of them there now. We've got an extra one, but uh, we did happen to just draw against Eastleigh. We've got South Shields coming up. It's becoming a bit of a damp squib at the end of season. And I don't like it. Well, I'm not quite sure where we're going to go at the minute, but what I'm going to do, we're going to play this last game for you because I think we could be seeing a lot of these faces out the door because I am not having any of this anymore. Francois is already going. He's going to go to Maidstone. So Hughes in goal, Mahaldo, Marshall, Boone and Harris. In fact, no. Go on, Jenks. Go on, son. You can come in and you can play as your... Inverted wing back on support. We'll go for it. Porter at the base. Bowen, Rose, Francois for the final time because he's definitely going. Garten out on that left hand side and Cargbo up top. Greenslade not fit enough to get onto the bench. He could be going as well. Yes, there's going to be big changes, I think. I hope that they're listening because. They're 16th, we're 22nd in the form table of late. Go on, shake his hand and say thank you very much. Julio Arca in charge of South Shields. If you don't remember Julio Arca, fantastic left back in the day when he... Oh, he was just awesome. I used to love him in Football Manager. One of the best players to get. And, uh, yeah... <laughs> We could do with a couple at the moment, I tell you. We have got to revitalise and reshape this Truro City team. And I think we're going to have to get rid of some of these players. At least he, Boone, Boone, the boy Boone, he will still be here. I can guarantee you that. That lad, he's fighting for the cause. Because he is awesome. And I, yes, I'm keeping him. We're building around Boone. You watch him be sold now. <laughs> oh, Marshall finds Boone. Boone to Jenkins, who was playing awesome until we signed a new left back. Maybe, maybe making signings is a mistake. Oh, who knows? Porter lumps it forward to Francois in cut. That boy should be scoring. A hundred goals a season. He is enormous. He's got everything going for him. But old Cargbo, look, jumping reach of 17, heading of 14, should not be missing. I don't know. I don't know. Jenkins just lumps it forward again. Why did I put him in the team? <laughs> I'm just, I'm doing it for the fans. That's what they say. He's in for the fans. But uh, today, we are... How are we not losing? I don't know. Positive mentality, a shout of fire up just before half time. Terrible. That has motivated them. Finally, they're motivated. Let's see if we can keep that motivation going and actually do something. Gone back to the old formation as well. We're just, we're all over the place. We really are. Rose whips it in. Cargbo. Oh, goodness me. Three changes made. Callum Hewlett. I don't think you've seen him this season. He's been down in the reserves. He's even up today. Harris and Tyler Harvey. Possibly for his last game of the club as well. It literally could be a wholesale clear out. I'm not promising that it won't happen. Ooh. Then again, we might just end up with exactly the same team and uh, and all that. Yeah, <laughs> watch this space. I tell you, it's going to be interesting. I just this transfer window is going to be the biggest one of yet. Francois lumps it forward. 
and then tries to chase his own ball but doesn't get anywhere near it. Yeah, it, I think we do need to just... Our defence isn't that bad. It's just moaning people out on the wings. Harris, look, he's another one. He'll be staying here. He'd definitely been staying if he'd scored that goal. But yeah, it's it's just looking like we need to just improve a few little bits. Francois's taking a knock. No. It's your last game for the club, son. You're off for £13,500. It's going to be another draw, isn't it? Or are we going to pop up with a winner? Boone. Goes forward, finds Harris. Harris, back to Boone. Porter, lovely stuff. Hewlett. Hewlett, who's got great vision, actually. Francois, he's got a bruised knee, but he's he's doing all right. Hewlett, finds Tyler Harvey. Harris, Harris. It's a save. It was a save. That was fantastic football again by Truro. And uh, I, I don't know where it's been not been coming from. That's the problem. It's There's been too many games where we've just drawn... Hewlett finds Francois. Francois Harris. Archie Harris gets the goal. <laughs> My goodness me, Bob. Sack a lot of them. Sack a bloody lot of them. That's what I say. Get rid of the whole lot. Ship them all out. Start again. Apart from Harris and Boone and a couple others. Cheers, Bob. That's really, really helpful. Really helpful, Bob. <laughs> Francois finds Harris again. Harris again. That we're man of the match, isn't he? He's running the show since he came on. The wing, not as a full-back. Oh, goodness me. Maybe we have Jenkins as the left-back and him as the... Oh, it's all too much for now. That's stuff for the future. Francois played well as well. Jenkins, Harris, tries to win the ball. Maybe he's a winger. Who's that falling over there? Rose. He's staying. He's another one. He, he's done pretty well. Harris trying to get back in. He does get back in. Him and Jenkins. Is this a... Partnership made in heaven out on that side. Tyler Harvey even winning a header. Uh, they've equalised. Gary Medine. It's offside. There's a crumb of hope here yet. Oh my goodness me. Well, all in all, well done with that. Well, I suppose one thing that can be said is we've defied expectations because Francois was out for a couple of days with a bruised knee. I don't care. Oh, you want... He got man of the match. He was out there with one leg. We're selling him. Well, I suppose out of everything, when we look at the season expectations, we was meant to be bottom. We finished 11th. We finished 11th out of it all in the end. That is the crazy thing. 73 points. Six points off a playoff place. Plus eight goal difference. So, yeah, seven points off the playoffs, really. Well... It's going to be one hell of a transfer window because we're going to have to ship out and sort out a lot of that lot. They're there above me. They're, they're behind me, looking at me again, as they have been for the last month or more, moaning. Um, yet we failed. Well, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hopefully, we will be able to come back and give you a bit more cohesion, should I say, because this bunch of troublemakers, I've got to sort them out. We'll see you next time out. Goodbye. <laughs>